Hi. Welcome to another episode of Fact Engine where I cover science, technology, business, and history. UPI has gained widespread popularity in India and has become one of the most popular payment systems, with more than 3 billion transactions processed in February 2021 alone. It has been integrated into several mobile payment apps, including Google Pay, PhonePay, Paytm, and others, making it easy for users to transact digitally and are getting a global exposure in the recent times. You are watching Fact Engine TV. G20 tourists can use UPI at select Indian airports. How? Before going ahead let's know about UPI. What's UPI? UPI, Unified Payments Interface, is a real-time payment system developed by the National Payments Corporation of India, and PCI, for facilitating interbank transactions in India. It is a digital payments platform that enables users to transfer funds between bank accounts instantly using a mobile device. IT involves a single mobile application for accessing different bank accounts. UPI allows users to link their bank accounts to a mobile phone and create a virtual payment address, VPA, that is unique to them. So just by scanning a QR code you do the payment. This VPA is used to initiate and receive transactions without having to share bank details or personal information. UPI is based on a two-factor authentication system, which ensures the security of transactions. According to the RBI, banks and non-banks authorized to issue prepaid payment instruments PPIs, can issue rupee-denominated full KYC PPIs to foreign nationals and NRIs visiting India. Such PPIs can also be issued in co-branding arrangement with entities authorized to deal in foreign exchange under FEMA. Who can utilize this system? The PPIs can be issued in the form of wallets linked to UPI like Google Pay and Phone P and can be used for merchant payments P2M, only. Loading and reloading of such PPIs will be against receipt of foreign exchange by cash or through any payment instrument, the RBI said. The Reserve Bank of India permitted all inbound travelers from the G20 countries and non-resident Indians to access Unified Payment Interface UPI, for their merchant payments P2M, at select airports while they are in the country. What does it mean? To start with, this facility will be extended to travelers from the G20 countries, arriving at select international airports. Going forward, this facility will be enabled across all other entry points in the country, the RBI said. The G20 comprises Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, EU, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, the UK and the US. How are PPIs issued? The PPIs can be issued after physical verification of passport and visa of the customers at the point of issuance. The PPI issuers should ensure that such information and record thereof are maintained with them, the RBI said. The conversion to Indian rupee can be carried out only by entities authorized to deal in foreign exchange under FEMA. The amount outstanding at any point of time in such PPIs should not exceed the limit applicable on full KYC PPIs, it said. The unutilized balances in such PPIs can be encashed in foreign currency or transferred back to source, payment source from where the PPI was loaded, in compliance with foreign exchange regulations, the RBI said. So, that's how you can use UPI for making payments. UPI has become one of the most popular payment systems in India with millions of users making transactions every day. With the convenience and security offered by UPI, it has become an essential tool for digital payments in India and will surely make global presence in the payments system with high-speed transactions. So thanks for watching this video if you want to see anything on science technology business or history feel free to subscribe and you've been watching Fact Engine TV and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Cheers guys have a good one. Thank you.